What's going on, Easy Company? I don't know. Maybe that's a better way to say. Hello, welcome to Easy Company. Get like a ball. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe better. Maybe not. I don't know. Is it good? Way? Is it good to call you my company? That's a pretty good thing, man. I I had to start working on that, man. You guys are my little company. You're my company. Easy, the Easy Company. You know, that's pretty cool because um, Easy Company was a squad based out of. Uh, World War II. What I'm trying to say here is welcome to the buyer pass the 1 4 scale Iron Man Mark 42. I think this is Mark 42. And, uh, blah, blah, blah. This is a. This is a funny video because you've seen Batman. It it's just a little weird. Coming off of the rant about the other one, uh, we just had the reissue of the War Machine, and now right after that one, <laughs> Hot Toys calls themselves. You know what? We're only milking you guys, but we're gonna relabel our company, the Cash Cow. $640 deluxe version comes with a little stand base lights uh, whatsoever and you can see right here the deluxe version switch out little parts that's a little head sculpt and a bunch of little handy parts now I'm not as mad because it's whatever you know it's one fourth scale Iron Man sells like crazy hot Cheetos with the Takis girls in high school in Asia. Okay, uh, they sell plenty of them. Collectorzone.com, beautiful place. Message the guy, bother him. This Wonder Woman's very nice. 1369, message them. This is a beautiful piece at a beautiful price for a one fourth, one third scale, beautiful size. I like that, Prime One. They're in collaboration with Blitzway. But, I mean, nonetheless, I, I wasn't a fan of the older Wonder Woman's. But it is beautiful. And man, the price, right? Lots of, lots of beauty in this. Um, but anyway, 600 bucks. Now, I'm not saying this is not worth it. I'm not saying this is not worth it. It is worth it. You know, it is... It is, it is not diecast. I, I, well, I don't think so. We have a release date of July 2022. Hot Toys and their reissues. A, a lot of people are just going to comment, stop whining. Um, you know, they're going to comment, just don't buy it. They're going to say, hey, it's good for new collectors. While it is... I understand that's great for new collectors. I, I understand myself. It, it is great for new collectors. But the thing is... But the thing is... We have plenty to release here, Hot Toys. We are collecting more Hot Toys pre-orders than we are actual figures. And we all know this. How many figures have been, have been delayed? I see something. I don't know if it's in my brain. I don't know how many figures has been delayed. We don't have yet. Um, Rex was expected to come out soon. I thought he was, but he's been delayed. I, I mean, a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. This figure doesn't suck in any which way or form. Reissue Mark 46. This figure doesn't suck in any which way or form. I, I like I like whatever I see here. It's one four skill. It's whatever. It's not for me. But it's a reissue. You could be taking this pioneer ship and this time and this ingenuity to bring something new to the table. And what the problem is, this is the regular base that you're seeing here with the uh, non-deluxe. And, and the thing is that they don't have a competition. They're almost a monopoly. Uh, they're they're a monopoly in, in 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 the industry. They have other competitions, but they're not licensed. And being licensed is a big deal 
for anything, even when selling to the Americas. So with that being said, a lot of people just have hot toys and it's hot toys or nothing. So, I mean, there's Sideshow, but Sideshow doesn't really have hot toys quality to me. So the reissues needs to stop on the fact that we need our figures to start releasing the bunches of, of previews that we got, the prototypes that we got, um, delayed figures. You need to work on that. Now, what I'm thinking, this may be the cash pull to soup up certain things in their factory. Maybe this is a time for them to, you know, start moving on to better things. Maybe they need this money to start something new. I don't know. Uh, Hot Toys doesn't really talk to us much. So that's a little bit of an issue. We don't get really, we don't get talked to. So we don't know or we don't understand. That's the problem. Maybe there's something I don't understand. Maybe. But I feel like there's a little bit of a, too much of a reissue, nostalgic repeats of certain franchises and certain figures. I know you got to sell what sells. You can't just make stuff that three people like and then, you know, but a lot of people like certain things. A lot of people like Kit Fisto. A lot of that, that thing would just, that thing would just go out, you know? Uh, where's my shotgun? So a lot of stuff would just sell. So why they would release something like this, I don't know. Reissuing stuff. My guess, what I'm thinking now, because they've done this again. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Fool me thrice. Go eat some rice. Or I want some Chinese food. I, I I feel like eating Chinese food. I don't is that button I think that button's raised. Um I don't know. Fool me thrice is just something uh, something bad. If, if they're if they have another release after this, that is a reissue or a and a, a figure that we just don't like or like what? It's it's really going to seal the Ziploc bag of what they're trying to do to us. Um, this is the like the second time in the row for me, so I'm just going to be like, whatever. I'm going to take it. But as far as them doing certain things after this, it may just make me sell off my collection. Now a lot of people are like, just do it. Sell it. Yeah, I know, but if you've been collecting for a while... You would understand that. You would understand that, you know, when you have reissues and repeats of figures and you're like, there's so much potential for so much more, you know? And it's coming from a company that you pay a premium price. So it's not going to be like, whoa! Like, I understand you, Hot Toys. No, it's like, I don't understand what's going on, Hot Toys. We pay you enough money. Um, the costs in China and Hong Kong and all these places, it's really low. Um, I bought a little happy birthday flashing LED thing for... It, it was like something you'd expect to pay $10, $20 for. It was 2 bucks, Made in China. Dollar store, man. Costs over there. and it, It's just... Hey, dog. Woof, woof. Bork, bork. Bork, bork! Bork! Watch. Bork, bork! Bork, bork! We got horses and chickens and animals outside, so... Do understand. So, I'm going to let it flow. I'm going to let it shine. My little, my little, my. I'm going to let it flow because Hot Toys, this is a one-fourth scale. It wasn't a one-sixth scale, so it's not really a jab to the heart. It's kind of like a step on the toe. I stumped my toe. It's all right. First time, I got punched in the face. Third time, better not be anything of any sort of reissue. It better be something brand new I've never seen before. Something pretty, something amazing, something... I don't even want it to be Star Wars. It can be whatever. It can be Marvel, you know. But I want to start seeing some figure drops. I want to see figures. I want to see the guy with the cart and a bunch of brown shipper boxes. I want to see that, Hot Toys. I want to see that more often. Less delays. A better turnaround time. Ooh. And stuff like that. So that's what I'm expecting from you guys. So I'm not mad at you for the reissues. I'm mad at you for the lack of ingenuity <laughs> that the company is having at the moment. And it's been for quite some time. 
uh, delays, reissues, repeats of figures. Uh, there will be a Loki. Expect a Loki figure. Woo! Expect that soon. Guaranteed. Expect a Loki figure soon. Because, you know, that's already been done. I don't know why we don't have a Mace Windu figure, you know? There's some stuff like... We should have certain things by now. By the time we get them, I'll be dead. Mace Windu, we had... Um, Agent Shield, the Shield. What's his name? Forgot. Um. So, one eye guy. Oh, who lives in a pineapple? Lum da da she. That guy, from Avengers. Uh. So why haven't we gotten Mace Windu when we have a Samuel Jackson head sculpt? So it's it's a bit of mix for me. It's not that like oh you're. You're becoming a scalper. I'm not. I'm not a scalper. I don't sell on eBay. I have my eBay page listed under my um, description. Click on it. There's nothing on there. Probably some toenail clippings and some OnlyFans pictures of me. But that's about it. Um, there's nothing I have about like price. I don't care about price. Pricing is not my game. I'm not a I'm not, I'm not a watcher on the market. People ask me, yo, like, how much is this Dark Side Anakin going for? I'm like, I don't know. I, I I just bought it one time and I got rid of it one time. I don't know. I didn't hold that figure to be like, oh, I'm gonna hold this figure until I get diamond hands and then boom, sell it off for like seven hundred dollars on eBay. Now that's not the point. We don't want to do that stuff. We're not holding. Sorry, we're not holding stuff like that, man. We don't want to do that. We just want figures. We want to enjoy the hobby without having any controversy. I want to enjoy certain things. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool shot right here. I love the effects right here. I love the paint apps going on. The damage. Now, one-fourth Iron Man, those things are bricks. So, so those things are bricks. So, expect heft out of them. This is going to be massive. For 600 bucks, it's a good deal. Um, I, it's a good deal. I just can't. You can't refuse a good deal. This is a good deal. And this isn't one of my favorite suits. And they even painted the inside. Because he, Tony Stark's like, here, take it. Um, very nice head sculpt. Love the bruising and the mild blood effect right here. It's like dried up blood. I love it. They, I see it. I see you, son of a bitch. So, <sighs> what I ask of you, Hot Toys, is just to do better. You know? Just to do better. We have a good price right here. 600 bucks. You're gonna, you're gonna hit 700-ish bucks. You're getting a one-fourth scale figure, guys. So, that's expected. Big pieces demand big money. It is something. LED lights and stuff and it's it's what it's valued at I'm, I'm sure so obviously it's a pass for me because I don't collect one-fourth scale figures um, I do collect one-fourth statues and um, statues and some figures I had the Batman but then I got rid of it it just doesn't fit in my collection so I thought this was gonna be a rant off the just off the bat, I was just going to be like, yo, this is crazy. Last night, I was kind of enraged to see it was a reissue. But then I saw it was on one four scale, so I simmered down a little bit. And then I decided, you know, I'm just going to give him a chance. Because I, I want to see if this is Hot Toys' cash cow to make some improvements. Think about that. Because they don't talk to us, so we don't understand them. Doesn't mean we have to hate them immediately. All right, company. I like that. I like calling you guys company. Company sounds good. Company at the ready, you know? It's pretty cool. I like it. Squad. You know, we're a patriotic squad right here. So, I hope we get a little bit more out of them, you know? I hope we I hope we get ingenuity and, and faster turnaround times, um, improvements on quality. So... At the end of this video, I'm going to accept this reissue and the last 
because I'm seeing this more as if they're doing this repetitively, something is going on. I think things are changing. I think they're needing a little bit of money. I think they're doing some things that will improve and help us out in the future for our future Hot Toy releases. Licenses. Licenses are out the freaking roof. They're expensive. Because you see, as soon as a figure, you can get a, a the, the Witcher figure for like 180 bucks. You license that bitch. It'll be like 300 bucks. And that little margin has to go into every single figure. Because they're so expensive. Um, licenses are like... It's like rip-off pricing. I mean, I'm telling you, it's it's crazy. Um, I know because I know some some companies that deal with companies, and they say, "Hey, that's." I mean, it's stupid. Uh, I I know the DC license is a, like extremely expensive. So, with that being said, I hope what you liked what you saw here, company. We're going to continue on the road to following Hot Toys and seeing what they're going to do. This, I saw this live when Hot Toys posted it like nine minutes ago. And it was, I was live on Instagram. Follow me there on Instagram. And I was live and I was like, what the heck? I reissue again? I went off. I was like, I was blown up about it. I was crazy intense. Ball sack rendering into big stuff, man. It was just something else. So, we're going to wait. I want to see. It's a little bit of like, okay, what's next now? Not surprised. I like waking up in the mornings and seeing like a surprising figure, you know. So, I want to see what's next. I'm going to see, you know, in the line of whatever. And just keep going at it. And just see what happens. Because magic happens here at Disney Studios. Right, you guys. See you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna see. Let's see what's new. Uh, whoever's still here, let's browse through and see what's new. There's some things that came out. Uh, Batman Beyond did release recently, dropped in the US for uh, first batch orders. So that's cool. We have a bunch of art prints. Ooh, C Cedric Diggory. So that's new. Uh, Collector Zone has a, quite a few stuff that's new too. This piece that Harley Quinn Infinity Studios $4,400 statue. That's a lot of silicone. But it's worth it. It's, it's stupid good. It's stupid good. I mean, you guys, I got some coming. Um, so whip whack. Whip wash. That's cool. The Mark 21 got to be my favorite Marvel figure of all time. It has to be one of my favorite figures of all time, really. Because of the gold. What is this? Quicksilver. Because of the gold. It's utterly amazing in your in your shook. It's like right there. And man, it, you can just look at it. Ooh, Jurassic Park welcome kit. <gasps> oh, license plate replica. That's cool. See, there's all kinds of shenanigans and shadoozies. What is this? Oh my god, this is so cool. Wow. Wow, that's cool. See, you just go through some crap? That is so cool. I'm gonna get this just because. VIP visitor, a patch, stickers, another patch, a ticket, sign stuff, night vision, safety instructions, badges, a map, a picture. A little pamphlet that's so cool a little banner I guess that's yours that that's really cool that's, a, that's really cool so let's go ahead back to travel memories Ooh, back to the future guys what's in here okay Elgato mind map maps reward okay look at all that that is so cool so Wow, they have these little memorabilia boxes, I guess you would call them. Oh, that's that's funny, a Krylon paint. So, you ever browse through sideshow like this? EV model kits, those are cool. I've been getting into Pokemon, so if you haven't followed me already on my Easy Pulls Pokemon page, follow that. That is a great page. Do it. Do it. Restraining bolt magnet. Is this is this a paperweight? 
That's cool. See, there's some stuff on here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Dante's going to love this stuff. Tweety Rhino Plush. That's crazy. This was epic. This is epic. I... $1,200 is cheap for this much art right here. That is epic. How, what scale is this? 19 inches tall. Wow, 19 inches tall. About yay big. Wow. That's a big piece for 1200 bucks. Wow. Maquette by Sideshow. It was by Sideshow too. Nice. Sideshow looking good over here. What else? Ooh, the reissue. Beautiful. Here is Star Ace making moves over here with their stuff. Not the best looking, you know. See, that's what I'm talking about. Licensed figures. It's just extraordinarily it's expensive. It really hits the mark once you license up. It's it's crazy. So that's what I'm thinking with Hot Toys. Maybe they're hitting a few uh, bumps in the road where they, they're needing to... That's cool. That's a far back backpack. Where they're needing to update... Oh, that's even cooler. A Kashyyyk backpack. What, what else do we have? That's really cool looking. Uh, maybe they're needing to do a few things. Oh my god. A Gollum mask. Like, what is this stuff? Ew. That's disgusting looking. $59.99 by Trick or Treat Studios. What is it made out of? Based on get yourself... That's just weird. Anyway, we gotta go. We'll see you later on Easy Company Collectibles. We'll see you later. Company out. How do you dismiss a company? How do you... Anybody know?